In this video, we'll show you how to make use of our tools for production programming of Calibri modules using Windows Embedded Compact. We'll start with this box of modules for which we'll program all these modules the same. And we'll begin with creating a master Calibri module. We'll take it out of the package and insert it into the carrier board. And here we have a resistive touchscreen which will be part of our application. Now we'll make all the connections to our iris carrier board and we'll make use of a USB stick for programming. Now we'll browse to the USB device using the WinCE Explorer and we'll use the Calibri Tweak tool here. You can download this tool at the link provided below. And we'll select the display resolution for our resistive touchscreen. I've selected a preset, but you can also manually set all the timings. Click Save and upon reboot the new settings will take effect. The next step is to download the update tool from our developer website. So you can just type update tool into the search bar and select the update tool page from the results. Be sure to select the correct version of the tool and uh, in this case we're going to use the 6.06 .06 or newer update tool from those available. Download the link and open up the zip file. And now we'll select all these files, which we will extract onto the USB stick. We could also use an SD card in this case. Uh, so I'm gonna create a folder here for the update tool. And we'll put the files inside on the USB stick. And we'll use these files for performing the update and the restore of the image on the Calibri module. So we'll now insert the USB stick into the Calibri device. And then we can navigate to the USB stick in the operating system and we will start the update tool. And the first thing we're going to do is program a new splash screen. So we'll go to update. We'll select a splash screen files and then we'll select the splash screen file from our USB stick that we would like to flash. It will ask for a reboot and then we'll see the new splash screen. The next step is to put our application onto the device. So we begin by copying that from the USB stick and we'll put it onto the onboard flash memory of the module. And we'll create an auto run folder, which will be used for automatically starting the application on boot. So we created the auto run folder. We're going to create a shortcut of our application into the auto run folder. And it will now start automatically upon boot. The next step is to disable the explorer in the registry. This will allow the system to boot directly into the application and not show the Windows Explorer or allow users to access any of the uh, system through the Explorer interface. So we'll do that by changing this setting in the uh, registry by tweaking the name of the Explorer executable to something which doesn't exist. Now the next step is to save the registry to flash so that it will take effect in future boots. And at this point, the Explorer will no longer come up at boot, but only the user application. At this point, we have completed the configuration of our master Calibri module, and we will now use the update tool to create a backup of the flash image and can use it to restore it to other modules. So now using the update tool here, we can select what we would like to back up from the flash. In this case, we're going to select everything and create a complete backup of the flash and we will store that on our USB stick. We'll click OK and the um, backup process will begin and it is now complete. Now the next thing that we'll do is make sure that all our changes took effect. 
we'll remove the power from the system and reapply it. We see that our custom splash screen is displayed. The display settings have taken effect and our application is booted with touch enabled. Now we will perform a restore manually of our image onto a brand new Calibri module fresh out of the box. So we'll take this uh, brand new Calibri module, we'll plug it into our carrier board and power it up. So we see when we power it on that it will boot the uh, original WinCE image provided on the module by Tordex. It's not set up for this display. In fact, if we don't see anything here at all, we might have to connect a VGA monitor. So we'll begin our update by running the update tool on our USB stick. And we're going to select update from the tool. And we'll select our image file and the backup folder of our USB stick. And this is going to update all these flash sectors with those that we backed up from our master Calibri module. The tool is intelligent enough to preserve the serial number, MAC address, and other module-specific information that is stored on the flash. When we're complete, we'll perform a reboot. We see the splash screen comes up and that our application loads. The uh, display is properly configured on this image. And so the final thing we'll do now is show you how you can automate image restoration for volume production programming. So if you go to our developer site, you can search for production programming. And there are several articles here which you can use to find more detailed information about what we already discussed. And so what you want to look for here is the production programming template, which is a script which can be used for automating the production programming process. So download that file and take a look at the zip contents. You can compare that to the contents which we already have on our USB stick. You'll see that they both have a backup folder and an update tool folder. Now the one thing that we will extract from this zip file to our USB stick is the auto run folder. This has the script which will automatically start the image restoration on a new module at boot up. Now you can remove the USB stick from your machine and take a new Calibri module from the box. We'll insert this into our carrier board. And when we boot it up, we'll see that it again has the stock Windows Embedded Compact image which is not set up with our custom configuration. So we'll now insert our USB stick and it just automatically begins updating. So there's no user input required here. It simply starts automatically using the files on the USB stick, updating the image as before. And now when we reboot the module, we'll see it now has our custom image with the custom splash screen, display configuration, and application. So you can find more information about how to do this on our developer website, developer.torx.com, and additional parameters that can be used to customize the production programming process.